So I'm out here putting some new universal window winders on my green car. You, you might ask why I need universal window winders on my green car. And the reason is when I bought it on both doors, the splines on this here window winding shaft were all rounded out like somebody had been using pliers or vice grips to roll the windows up and down. And to get a new regulator is like 150 bucks, and that was the only thing wrong with the whole regulator. So, what I did, I, this is still tight so I can't show you, but what I did was I ground, here's the uh, new one, I ground the splines down into a square like that, and I just slapped on a set of $12 universal window winders from Amazon. So, instead of spending... 150 bucks per door on a new regulator I spent $12 total on new window winders now the bad side is they're cheap and they didn't hold up on uh, this one you can see this is the base for the old rotating window winder and that is not supposed to be a slit that's supposed to be a dot that this hex bolt tightens into to keep it from slipping and as you can see it started slipping and grinding the whole shaft down but it did last me like two years I think probably like two full summers so twelve dollars for two full summers I can't really complain I do think I paid a little more for this set so I'm gonna go over and double check all the bolts are nice and tight before I put this set on hopefully it'll last me a little longer but even if it doesn't you know Again, $12, get a couple years out of it. It's kind of hard to complain with, so. And they don't look too bad. They're black, they match the interior. You know, it's different than your standard run-of-the-mill window winder, so. I don't know, I'll update you guys as I go through the process and get the old ones off and get the new ones. All right, so right off the bat, I see one major improvement over the new set of universal window winders than over the old set. I already showed you how the window handle attached to this old one where the had the the locking set screw that went into this little notch that eventually wore out. On the new one the handle is just straight bolted to the inside of this thing so as long as those bolts don't shear off, there's theoretically no way for this thing to come loose and slip on the base. So I do like that. Um, the new adapter only has one set screw versus four on the old one, but if we're being totally honest here, four was probably overkill. Um, it seems pretty secure on here. Worst case scenario, if I have to, I think the old adapter will fit inside the new handle. Like if it feels like it's going to come loose or it starts coming loose. So I'll hold on to some of that stuff. But right off the bat, I'm uh, definitely pleased with the build of the new one versus the old one. This seems like it might hold up a little, long a little longer. Um, I don't think that was the brand that it was listed under when I ordered it, but it was just look up universal window winders on uh amazon and it was one of the ones that had like one of, it was one of the better reviewed ones and it was one of the only ones that had more than like five reviews so they i think they're all largely the same so i also like on the old one the set screws were not a very good quality they tend to round out pretty easily and i do not believe it came with an allen key this is just one I had laying around. The new one, the uh, the set screws are a slightly better quality. They're like a chrome-based Allen key and uh, Allen set screw, and they come with an Allen key that fits them perfectly. So that's another area that I'm really happy with. So, so far, I'm pretty impressed. Alrighty, so we uh, got it all in, all finished up works really nicely feels nice and tight um, at some point later in the season I need to take and clean out the window guides and lube everything up with some shinetsu grease or whatever but uh, for what it is it works really well my only complaint with the new one over the old one I mean I like the fact that it's got three set screws on the actual handle versus two on the old one um, my complaint would be they put one of them directly behind the window handle and because of how this thing is attached, you can't 
spin it or clock it, so uh, it's a pain in the ass to tighten down. Not impossible, just a pain. All in all, pretty nice set. I'm pretty impressed with it, all things considered. Um, but if I told you that I bought it knowing it was going to be a higher quality universal kit, that would be a lie. It's mostly just luck of the draw. So, I do think I paid a few extra dollars for it versus the first one that I bought. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. And I have a feeling this one's going to hold up for at least a few extra years. So, alrighty. So, I'm all done. I got both sides on. They both work very well. I'm very happy with the design. Like I said, it wasn't like a conscious decision to get a better designed one. This one was only a few dollars more than the previous set I bought, but it just so happened to work out that it was a much better kit. So I think these are going to last me a pretty good long time. Um, and uh, yeah, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, uh, subscribe. I got a couple other videos on this car if you're interested, check those out. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.